Greetings and welcome to In Printing Color. My name is Liz, aka Pezliz. I'm currently streaming this live on twitch.tv slash Pezliz, where you can join me every single Wednesday evening around 7.30 p.m. Eastern. We talk about all the new products, of course, that come from Polymaker. And as well, we do giveaways and have all kinds of fun. So we are now uh, one week into the launch of Polymaker's newest line of filaments. There's actually two lines. One is the regular HTPLA, so the high temperature PLA. This is filament that can print um, just like regular PLA and can withstand temperatures up to 150 degrees Celsius. So it's absolutely amazing filament. The other filament that is available is the HTPLA GF. And the HTPLA GF is filament that, of course, uh, is um, HTPLA printable. Uh, it is recommended to use a hardened steel nozzle, but with the HTPLF it, PLA, it also has glass fiber. So this is filament that can give you some even more strength and durability. And of course, this filament um, is easy to anneal. There's some really amazing colors. So we're going to jump right into the HTPLA uh, glass fiber first, since we're right here. And the really nice thing about Polymaker's uh, website is that all of the information on their filaments um, are right there on the website. They're just one click away. I highly encourage you to do your shopping or browsing uh, for filament on the Polymaker website because you can have all the information you've ever wanted um, for this filament. So of course, as it says here, temperature tested, performance approved. Now this filament is stable up to 150 degrees Celsius. It also prints faster. So with our you know high speed printers, this can print up to 350 millimeters a second. Um, it's easy to print, as I've, I've of course mentioned, and has excellent surface finish. The other thing, of course, about this is that it is multi-material system compatible. So this filament can go into your AMS or whatever um, multi-material system you have. It is compatible for that. It is engineered for performance and, of course, trusted by makers. Now, with the glass fiber, it is recommended to use with a hardened steel nozzle, no um, smaller than 0.4. And of course, you can use 0.6 or 0.8 um, nozzles as well. But try to use a hardened steel nozzle because it is, of course, abrasive. Now, with this filament, um, we've talked about this a little bit um, in, in, in the past, but this also anneals. So you could anneal these parts for extra heat stability. So for example, if you want to have something that hangs in your car, then it'll allow you to have even more strength with that and, and withstand um, you know, the pressure of it hanging and also the temperature. So to anneal, it is fairly easy. You actually just, um, you just heat your part for 30 minutes at 100 degrees Celsius to anneal it. There are different ways to anneal and um, we can certainly look into that, but um, there you go. All right. Now, of course, uh, with with all of this, um, there's all sorts of things that you can print. And one thing that, of course, is extremely attractive about the glass fiber is that the parts are made to last. Uh, you, you can make parts that are made to last. Um, of course, you can also print things that are outdoor friendly. Um, the the glass fiber is also really good for functional gadgets and and uh, they, the colors tell it all. Now, a lot of things that are um, that are, um, of course, with a, a brand new product launch, a lot of things to consider is some of these things are out of stock. Actually, all of the glass fiber as of this recording are out of stock, but you can Click right here on this notify me when available. Well, let's take a look at these colors. We've got the black. We've got the white. We have gray. Coming soon, we will have blue. It is, it, this, this is one that will be available soon. Also available soon will be the army green. 
power tool yellow will be available. Um, it, it, it is, it has been available. I have some here um, and uh, it's absolutely lovely. Um, the, uh, the power tool red is another one that is of course uh, available. Uh, the power tool green, absolutely gorgeous. That one's fantastic. And coming soon, we have the power tool teal, which I had the opportunity to test out a little bit early. All right. So with this filament, of course, um, you are looking at um, you are looking at a nice uh, matte finish, matte to satin finish. Um, and with the glass fiber, um, there's all sorts of you know all sorts of things that you can do. But of course. One thing that was kept in mind with this is power tools. So of course there are the colors that go along with the power tools. Um, as you can see, some of those colors look awfully familiar when it comes to, uh, comes to power tools. And with an introductory price of $29.99 US for glass fiber, uh, full kilogram of glass fiber filament, um, you certainly uh, can't go wrong with that. Now uh, also, of course, part of the launch that that uh, happened last week is the HTPLA. And I will say the HTPLA, not only does, that, does it print like butter, uh, the support removal is absolutely amazing. So let's take a look at the HTPLA and um, let's, let's see, of course, what that has to offer. In the HTPLA, we also have a variety of colors. An introductory price of $24.99 US absolutely amazing um a full kilogram of htpla at that price is unheard of so we have in colors some are available some are not all of these are of course were available at launch but some of them um are waiting to be restocked so stay tuned and like i said hit that notify me when available button right here so let's take a look at the colors we've got black we've got white We've got gray, we have blue, we have red, we have beautiful green, we have a very vibrant yellow, we have a lovely orange, we have brown, polymaker teal. Then of course we've got these new gradients. So this one is rainbow, absolutely gorgeous. Um, I don't, th this kind of does it justice. You can see all the different colors. It is a different, a different rainbow. It is a bit of a different rainbow compared to ones that you might be used to. It's really nice. Then of course, we've got our tropical, which to me just screams like mango and all things summertime. Then sold out right now, but of course we'll be back in stock is the ice filament an absolutely beautiful blue gradient and then fire and fire definitely is fire it is an absolutely gorgeous gradient um, of of course a uh, deep to lighter oranges so beautiful color selection and of course with the HDPLA just like the uh, the glass fiber it does of course uh, withstand temperatures up to 150 degrees Celsius so you accidentally leave it in your car, you leave something that you printed in your car, you're, uh, you know, at, at the beach, in the in the sand and the sun. Um, this is something that keeps its shape even under extreme heat. So uh, no sagging and no compromises, as it says right there. So it does print like a dream. It prints flawlessly. Um, and of course, I really love the finish of this filament. It is a beautiful satin finish. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, oh, I, we have something new, something new here. The gradient cycles. So with the rainbow, it's a 200 gram cycle with the fire. It's 120 grams with the ice. It's hundred grams. And with the tropical, it's 120 grams. So those will show up on the Polymaker website. Um, normally they show here with the spool. So you'll be able to see that soon. But that gives you a good idea of, of course, calculating when you're printing things, how big you want the item to get the full gradient and all of that. So the gradient cycle time is there. And of course, as this says, if you need more strength, um, then the HTPLA glass fiber is available to you. So this is fantastic. Now, of course, 
let's say you got in on the hype and you got really excited and you were you you you, you got the filament and then you're like what do i do now so one thing that you might want to know is of course how to print with it and one thing that's super useful about the polymaker website is of course you go on the product page where we were and if you go here print settings so it does give you recommended print settings the temperature for your of course your nozzle for your bed the print speed of course this can be printed up to 300 uh, millimeters per second um, you want to have your fan on there's retraction distance retraction well, that retraction distance and speed and of course um, all kinds of other information but it does say here this will print great on any stock 3d printer um, it does say though you will you will want to print slower on stock older style printers so that's interesting and of course if we can flip down over flip on over to the um the glass fiber so htpla gf here we go oh goodness gracious here we go for the glass fiber um again with this one there is all the print settings here um and it says of course a hardened nozzle is recommended and um there are also printer profiles so on for a lot of polymaker filaments you are going to be able to start to find printer pro profiles which are very helpful um to setting things up to print on your on your printer so um if you go to the uh, wiki.polymaker.com you can see there are profiles being set up for all sorts of uh, all sorts of, of uh, polymaker materials the wiki is something that is definitely still in development but sean uh, from polymaker has put a lot of work into this and there's so much information so for example if you find that you have hairier stringy prints there's a whole article here on how to prevent that um, it's definitely an excellent resource for new people, but also experienced people have problems too. And a lot of us, uh, of course, with with um, advanced printers that do all the work for you, don't realize that things like retraction settings can help save a print. Um, and so there's all sorts of information on, on the Polymaker Wiki that is there to help you. Absolutely. And of course, the one thing I was going to look up is annealing. So I want to see what the Polymaker Wiki says about annealing. So it does tell us that the process of annealing is done for different purposes depending on the material. That said, the process will be the same. Annealing is the process of heating up the printed parts at a certain temperature for a certain period of time. Now, of course, there's information on annealing the nylon filaments the polycarbonate filaments and uh, then of course other materials so you can get some basic information there and of course this will be expanded in future but there's for a filament company to have all of this information here um, in in one place is is absolutely incredible so for example if you want to know i think tony wright was uh in an earlier chat and he said well what if people want to know um, if what what filament to use for for what purposes? Well, look at this Toys and fun gadgets It gives a recommendation for of course uh, Where to find look where to find these these models and what filaments to use So you've got all kinds of amazing stuff right here all the resources that you could ever need for Hue Forge look there's a whole set of information on Hue Forge. So of course, Hue Forge is painting with filament. Um, it is a software that you use, or of course you can download models from different websites that are Hue Forges that someone has already designed. But as you can see, it is absolutely gorgeous. And these of course are all 3D printed. Flat, flat prints with layers of filament. So there is all kinds of information on Hue Forge, including the explanation of what transmission transmission distance is, the TD. So TD measures the thickness in millimeters at which light can penetrate a filament. See, this is making me sound smarter. I'm learning more just by, by taking a look at this website. And of course, 
Uh, Polymaker has lines of filament that are available um, that, of course, work well with Hueforge, including, uh, of course, the matte, the glow, the celestial, the silk, um, and, of course, other, other uh, PLAs. Now, there are also people using um, Polymaker's uh, TPU and Pet G and other colors, too. So but there's all kinds of information right here at your fingertips. And of course, if you've ever wanted to know something more afraid to ask, guess what? This this little search bar does not judge. <laughs> and if you're not sure how to ask the question, um, I'm sure that that uh, there's an, a lot of information here that you can just click as, as we know, like, for example, light boxes. So there is all kinds of information on how to design light boxes um, and tips and tricks for printing light boxes. So all the information is right here at your at your fingertips. And that is wiki.polymaker.com. So excellent resources available just for you. Now, of course, when it comes to um, all sorts of filament applications, I stream uh, every single Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern. I'm always on an adventure with Polymaker materials. Um, I've, I've gone through pretty much run the gambit, but, um, there's a couple more things that I am definitely going to be trying. And of course we always try new things. We answer your questions. Um, and you can find me on twitch.tv slash Pezliz. So thank you for joining me for this imprinting color. we talked a little bit about something new and of course, even better, um, resources that are available for you at any time. So you can get printing. Thank you so much and have a wonderful uh, rest of your day. And we're back. So that was just something I might I might make some clips from